It's school hours and these children roam the streets of Maiduguri, hawking wares or begging for alms on the street. They are of school age, albeit not in school. They're better known as out-of-school children. They're part of the national statistics that places the number of out-of-school children in Nigeria at 12 million. According to UNICEF, 2.8 million children need education in emergency support in three conflict-affected states, Borno, Yobe and Adamoa. In these states, at least 802 schools remain closed. The Borno state government is worried about the situation and the government is providing a specialized curriculum for Almajiri kids to acquire basic education in Quranic studies. We map specifically 883 Sangha centers. These Sangha centers, we posted facilitators for them. Usually Thursdays and Fridays are pre-Quranic education days. We are utilizing these two days to give them rudimentary knowledge of numeracy and literacy. With education partners working in the state, out-of-school children can now attend accelerated learning classes in informal schools. The vulnerable children rely on government school spaces where classes can only begin after noon when normal classes end for the day. Community-based mobilizers are responsible for identifying and enrolling vulnerable children in the program. It's the responsibility of the CCs to go around the host community and then find out the out-of-school children and the IDPs living in the host community. Their age range is between 6 to 15 years and they demonstrate a hunger for education by daily showing up here for classes. So far, no fewer than 200,000 children have benefited and the long-term goal is to get them enrolled in mainstream schools. Attendance is actually a challenge though with our, from our projects we've supported them with scholastic materials to also help ease the burden on their parents and then some of them have been supported with life, uh, life skills startup kits to also encourage them so that um, they would have time for education. Learning is under a specialized accelerated learning curriculum. Conflict-affected children in IDP camps are also demonstrating similar enthusiasm towards learning. The sustenance of this program, many believe, will prompt a decline in the number of out-of-school children in the state.